Hello to you all CFT learners, in this course we will cover the multiphase flows model in ANSYS Fluent comprehensively. In this course you will become familiar with multiphase flows concept first, then you will learn about basics and physics of existing models to simulate multiphase flows such as VOF, Eulerian, Mixture and Bedesty. Next we will go through a couple of problems together as tutorials on how to apply each model for your problems. In this session, we will first talk about the nature and general idea behind the multiphase flows. Then, we will delve deeper into different types of multiphase flows by classifying them into general categories that exist. Next, we'll talk about different flow regimes and then we'll discuss the most important perspective of multiphase flows, meaning the Eulerian Lagrangian or Eulerian or Eulerian approaches. Finally, we will talk about the existing models such as VOF, Eulerian, and Mixture in Fluent for simulating multiphase flows in Fluent and provide some preliminary info regarding their application in real life. Finally, we will discuss what model to select when facing different situations and conditions. Let's start by defining the term multiphase flow. Multiphase system is denoted to a system which contains two or more phases within itself with the condition that the mentioned phases are not mixed at molecular level and are distinguishable from each other. Now, for those of you who are not familiar with the concept of phase, actually any class of material that has some kind of interaction with its surrounding environment is called a phase. It includes a wide range of materials such as solids, liquids and gases. Examples of multiphase flows are bubbles inside water, oil droplets in water and more. So basically, we have three main phases or material states, solid, liquid and gas. Combination of such states or phases can create multiphase flows. Based on the combination of these phases inside a mixture, different categories of multiphase flows are created which mainly include gas-liquid, gas-solid flows, liquid-solid flows, liquid-liquid flows and three-phase flows. In the following slides, we will talk about each of these flows and the regimes created due to different combination of each phases inside the relevant multiphase flow. One of the most common multiphase flows in the nature is the combination of air and liquids. Based on the rate or entrance velocity of each phase into the domain, different types of regimes or flow formats are formed. For instance, you can see different types of flow regimes in a vertical pipe, or in the bottom image, the two-phase flow of air and water is shown in an open channel. So basically, the form regimes for liquid gas flows in a domain is directly dependent to the shape of domain and each phase's inflow rate. In the next two slides, we will investigate the most famous regimes for vertical and horizontal pipes. So, as you can see in this slide, different regimes inside a horizontal pipe are plotted based on the inflow mass flux of each phase. Also, the shape of each regime is shown to better distinguish their differences. Different regimes such as bubbly flow, slug flow, annular flow and other regimes are clearly shown. Also, on the left image, different regimes are listed. Using this plot, one can understand what flow rate is needed for each phases of water and air to create the respective flow regime. And now in this slide, the same plot as the previous slide is presented with a difference that it is for vertical pipes. And you can understand what flow rate is needed for each phase of water and air to create the respective flow regime. Different flow regimes such as bubbly flow, slug flow, annular flow and other regimes are clearly shown. So as you can see here, not only does the shape of the domain affect the multiphase regimes, also they are influenced by other factors such as gravity or other forms of forces. After investigating the regimes of gas-liquid multiphase flows, it's time to discuss the liquid-liquid flows. This type of flow occurs for two immiscible liquids so that a distinct interface is formed between them. Again, the mass flux of each phase has the determining role of creating different flow patterns in a domain. Another equally important factor is the surface tension between two liquids or phases which can have impact on the formation of each pattern with the different inflow fluxes. The liquid-solid multiphase flow is somewhat similar to gas-solid flow. However, the interactions may be a bit different in what we may see in liquid-solid flows, which is mainly due to the density difference. The density difference in the liquid-solid flows is less significant and therefore, solid particles can become suspended in the liquid phase. Therefore, we may observe more versatile regimes and behavior in these type of mixture flows. Also, the most prominent existing regimes are mentioned here, which include the slurry flows, hydrotransport, and sedimentation. Similar to gas-liquid flows, where the shape of the domain or the forces that are employed to the domain affect the flow pattern and regimes, the same case is applicable to liquid-solid flows. 
As you can see here again, not only does the phases influx rate define the existing regime, but also having a horizontal or vertical format alter the mixture behavior. And the final category belongs to the three-phase flow, which is basically a combination of all common phases, meaning the gas, solid, and liquid states. This is a type of multi-phase flow which is not commonly seen in nature, but it, is, but it has a large number of applications in industry. An example would be the trickle bed reactor, which is a chemical reactor that uses the downward movement of liquid and the downward or upward movement of gas over a packed bed of catalyst particles. It is considered to be the simplest reactor type for performing catalytic reactions where a gas and liquid, uh, which are normally both of, uh, reagents, are present in reactor and accordingly it is extensively used in processing plants. Typical examples are liquid phase hydrogenation, hydrodesulfurization, and hydrodenitrogenation in refineries. Now, there is an underlying question when it comes to multiphase flow simulations. What model do we need to use? As mentioned earlier, there are two main approaches for modeling multiphase flows, euler euler and euler lagrangian methods. In this set of tutorial videos, we will focus on euler euler approach, which covers different types of multiphase flows, including Eulerian model, VOF model, and mixture model. The other approach is the euler lagrangian method. This method is mainly used to simulate the behavior of particulate matter. In this approach, each particle or secondary phase is tracked separately, while in the euler euler approach, a holistic perspective is used to track the interface or location of secondary and primary phase with respect to another. In the next slides, we will talk about each of the mentioned models and provide some preliminary info along with their applications. The first model that we will discuss here is the VUF multiphase module. The VUF model is a surface tracking technique applied to a fixed Eulerian mesh, and it is designed for two or more immiscible fluids where the position of the interface between those fluids is of interest. Uh, furthermore, in the VOF model, a single set of momentum equations is shared by the fluids and uh, the volume fraction of each of the fluids in each computational cell is tracked throughout the domain. So basically, the size of the mesh cells in the hypothetical domain plays a prominent role on how the interface between the phases are captured. The VOF model is used in many industrial applications. It is an extremely powerful model to track the interface between different phases and can be implemented to predict fluid motion under various conditions. Some of the more famous applications include uh, tracking the interface of water in free surface flows such as in canals, sloshing phenomenon, prediction of water behavior in case of dam breakage, motion of bubbles in liquid due to phenomena such as boiling, evaporation or condensation, and many more. And then, after the VOF model, we have the Eulerian model, which is the most complex of the multiphase model in ANSYS Fluent. It solves a set of n momentum and continuity equations for each phase. In the Eulerian approach, both the dispersed particles phase and the continuous fluid phase are solved using the Navier-Stokes equation. Coupling is achieved through the pressure and interphase exchange of coefficients. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, the Eulerian model is the most comprehensive model that can be used to perform many simulation and can almost cover any type of model or multiphase flow that you are dealing with. The applications of the Eulerian model include bubble columns, riser, particle suspension, fluidized beds. These are of course only a few of applications of the Eulerian model. It also should be mentioned that this model can be used to compute any multiphase flow regime as I mentioned, provided that an adequate closure relation for the interfacial coupling terms are provided. And then of course, after VOF and Eulerian models, we have the mixture model. The mixture model solves the, for the mixture momentum equations and prescribes relative velocities to describe the dispersed phases. Some of the applications of the mixture model include particle-laden flows with low loading, bubbly flows, sedimentation, cyclone separators. The mixture model is the simplest model of the mentioned models so far. Uh, it is very easy to use, uh, but it should be mentioned that uh, for some cases you need to consider some simplifying assumptions in order to use this model. Again, it should also be mentioned that the mixture model can also be used without relative velocities for the dispersed phases to model homogeneous flow, multiphase flows as well. 
Alright, so far we talked about available models to simulate multiphase flows. Now the controversial question that arises here is what model to choose when simulating a multiphase flow. If there is a wide distribution of the dispersed phases, which is if the particles uh, vary in size and the largest particles do not separate from the primary flow field, the mixture model may be preferable, which is less computationally expensive. And uh, if the dispersed phases are concentrated just in a portion of the domain, you should use the Eulerian model instead. And of course, if the interface drag laws that are applicable to your system are available, the Eulerian model can usually provide more accurate results than the mixture model. If the interface drag laws are unknown or their applicability to your system is questionable, the mixture model may be a better choice. Uh, also, if you want to solve a simpler problem, which requires less computational effort, the mixture model may be a better option, since it solves a smaller number of equations than the Eulerian model. And of course, if the accuracy is more important than computational effort, the Eulerian model is a better choice. However, the complexity of the Eulerian model can make it less computationally stable than the mixture model. And of course, let's not forget about the view of model. I in case if you have slug flows or stratified or free surface flows, you need to use the view of model. And finally, as shown here, we have classified the main models for multiphase flow simulations. You can refer to this table in case you had similar problems as mentioned in, the in this table's columns. In other cases, you need to consider some assumptions to use one of the VOF, Eulerian and Mixture models. Although there is almost no problem that Eulerian model can solve, it is just about the purpose of the study which mandates the user on what model to use except the Eulerian. In the next chapter, we will delve deeper into the underlying physics of view of multiphase flow model to simulate multiphase flows and provide you some tips and tricks on how to use this model. To benefit from Mr. CFD services, including simulation, consultation, and training, contact our experts via info at mrcfd.com or visit our website www.mrcfd.com.